How long should it take to paint stormtroopers? I want to know if I can take these stormtroopers from primed and painted white to tabletop ready in four hours. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, so here's the deal. I have had about 50 Stormtrooper miniatures from Star Wars Legion sitting over here on the coffee table in my living room for several weeks now, ready to be painted, and it just hasn't gotten done. I've been sitting here at the computer all day editing video for the cultists and dinner and a board game, and so I decided I need to do something different, so I'm going to do a challenge here. I'm going to do a four-hour challenge to try to get these about 50 or 52 Stormtroopers painted up to a tabletop standard in four hours. That's about five minutes per Stormtrooper, and that's about what I can budget, because I want to get these guys ready so they can go on the table. See if I can do it. Four hours, how far can I get? But first, I'm giving away over $120 worth of tabletop terrain tiles. They're out of print, so if you want this beautiful set for your table, click the link below and enter the drawing. This is how they started. This was the easy part. It's pretty easy to break for three minutes at a time while you're working and hit these guys outside with white paint and primer, letting them dry in the sun and turning them over until they're coated and dry. So that's how this challenge started. My goal was to paint up really clean looking stormtroopers. Let's see if it works. All right, so I sat down here in the living room and put on some Star Wars movies and TV shows in the background to listen to and kind of get in the mood to painting up these stormtroopers. The first thing to do was try to put some black into all of the, uh, the black body glove that you can see between their plates of white armor. But man, this already started off slow. Well, this isn't going so great, I suppose. Here's where I am after three hours of painting stormtroopers. Been putting on the black onto them. There's still a lot to go. I got one hour left in this challenge, but mm, don't suppose they're all going to get painted to a table. I was painting as absolutely fast as I could to try to get all of the black on the stormtroopers, which did include their rifles and other weapons, by the way, as you could see in the uh, video there. But just painting the black wasn't all that I wanted to do with them anyway, so I guess I was overly ambitious by really underestimating how long it was going to take to paint that black. So here they are after four hours. So I didn't even get all of the black on there, as you can see. But to some people, the white with some black on there would be close to a tabletop standard. I wanted to push them further. That was my intention. I've got a unit of scout troopers over here, too. We'll see what's going to happen to them. Okay, I'm going to stop right now. It's midnight. So I might tackle this again tomorrow. I really want to get these guys done. Six hours into my four-hour painting challenge, this is where I stand. I've got... A lot of the black of the base coat onto these stormtroopers, but I didn't quite get it all finished. The helmets haven't been done. I didn't get these scout troopers done, but boy. I was riding all afternoon, and so I've decided to take a little bit of a break to return to the stormtrooper project. The next big thing is to paint their helmets. I got all the black painted on them except for their helmets because I want to take a little bit more time with that because people will be looking at the helmets, and even though they're supposed to be tabletop gaming quality and I've got to get these done, I do want to see if I can take a little bit more time to get their helmets looking nice, because I know they'll be a focal point of the miniatures. So I'm going to try to paint up their helmets right now. So here I am on day two, starting hour number seven of my four-hour painting challenge, and really, I'm getting tired of painting black on stormtroopers. This is a lot of stormtroopers to be painting in a rather monotonous, or very monotonous, kind of color scheme. And being that my intention was to paint rather clean, shiny stormtroopers, I really wasn't even all that happy with the paint job that I was getting just operating like this. So this project was getting a little bit frustrating. But here's the kind of progress that we're making on these guys. White with black and more black and more black and more black. Back to this project. I just came in and I painted the helmets. They didn't come out as great as I would like, but okay, the... Helmets are done now. I'm going to have to do some kind of wash or something on these. I realized I've got to paint the pauldrons, but then I can wash them. I'm now an hour and a half further into the painting process, and I now finally have all of the base colors applied to the stormtroopers as I'm going to do them. So it's time to start washing them. I was really hoping that uh, this wouldn't, the base colors wouldn't take this long, but these guys really need some kind of wash put on them, some kind of shader, and so I'm gonna start that now. I was thinking about going down to the uh, workshop to do that, but I'm set up here watching TV, so I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna start uh, washing them using some, uh, of something I've got from Army Painter, <laughs> whatever I've got, to try to get this done. 
This is where this project really started to go south. I had this strong tone from Army Painter, and it's one of these quick shaders, and I thought that would be great to just sort of brush over these stormtroopers and give them some depth and texture in the creases of their armor, but it completely failed. I mean, look at this guy right here. That's got the shader applied. Especially look at the back here. It is just not doing what I wanted it to do, and I'm not getting the look I was after. After a lot of monotonous painting, this was more than a little bit discouraging. And now I'm even a further cry from having nice, clean stormtroopers. This is just not the look I was trying to go for. So what do I do? Well, obviously I've completely blown this four-hour challenge anyway. And even though I'm only looking for tabletop quality, I thought that, well, they should be a little bit better. I wanted some type of something there to add some depth. And so crazy me decided, well, hold on, let me get some gray paint and try to paint in at least some shadows on some of the major creases of the armor. This was ridiculous and it took a lot more time. This project goes on and on and on. It turns out I wasn't able to wash or shade the stormtroopers as easily as I thought. And so I'm having to pull out the gray paint and try to individually paint shadows on these stormtroopers. And then there's going to be still more work to do. These don't have shadows on them yet. But this project, oh my god. It is now 1.40 a.m. and I have been painting stormtrooper armor shadows for a long time. And I'm not even sure that I'm doing it very well anymore. And I still have a lot more to go. These over here in this pile haven't been touched yet. But this is all I can do right now. Need sleep. So here are my stormtroopers the next morning. As you can see, I've got something totally different here. I don't have clean stormtroopers. I've got rather battle-worn looking stormtroopers because that gray shading does sit pretty heavy on them. But at this point, I've got what I've got. So here I am with my finished stormtroopers, and I really like how they look, and I'm glad I did this project in retrospect, but this project took a lot longer than I was expecting it to, and I had all kinds of problems along the way, not least of which was technical problems, because I also lost a whole bunch of footage, especially in my later stages. So that was also extra frustrating about this project. This was definitely a challenge fail. It took much more than four hours to do. Because I lost a bunch of my footage, I'm not sure exactly how long it took, but I'm guessing about 15 or 16 hours. I worked a lot on Friday night, a lot on Saturday night, and then I had to come and finish up for a few hours on Sunday. So it was probably 15 or 16 hours in total. I ended up coating these guys in a matte clear coat, which was opposite from what I wanted to do at the very beginning. I was expecting these guys to come out, or was trying to get these guys to come out as very shiny clean stormtroopers, but I quickly abandoned that because my paint job just wasn't that good, especially trying to move as quickly as I could. But I ended up with what I think are some really cool looking kind of battle-worn stormtroopers, so I put a matte clear coat on them. And then also you're going to notice that I did use these acrylic bases for my stormtroopers, and that was part of something that I thought was going to make this project go easier and faster because that way I wouldn't have to base my stormtroopers. I was thinking, well, gee, if I'm doing this fast, I can just use these clear circular miniature bases, three millimeter. They are from Litco right here. I just got a bunch of them. I keep a bunch of them around and I was like, I thought the stormtroopers would be ideal for having clear bases because they could really be in any kind of planetary environment out there, but also they can be in artificial environments like on Star Destroyers or on the Death Star or things like that. And so I really wanted these guys to be as multi-use as possible and so I went with the clear base for ease of production, but then also practicality on the gaming table. I think they do have a unique look to them. Now, you may or may not be able to notice that there are basically two different kinds of shades. This one right here and all of these, most of them, uh, are the ones that I actually used the gray paint on to try to put some depth in the creases of their armor. But then you notice like this guy right here, he's got a dustier appearance. Let's see dustier appearance. This guy's got a dustier appearance because there were some that I noticed they got set someplace else on the table after their black had been painted on and they didn't get their gray shading. And so I grabbed uh, this. This is, as you can see, it's definitely kind of a brown kind of wash. And this one did come out well. And I don't remember what it was because that was part of the corrupted video stuff I've got. But I decided that since I had a few extras, I would go ahead and do them in uh, the slightly different color scheme 
because to me it looks like they're a little bit grittier and grimier and like they've been in the sand. So I thought these could be the sand troopers. I do have the dewbacks uh, with the stormtroopers on them. And so, you know, this, these guys could be out on the desert. And I got some desert terratiles as well. And so maybe with a little bit of a brown ink kind of wash, they look like uh, they've been out operating in the desert, and I think that's a pretty cool look. So there's one squad in here that's kind of painted up like sand troopers, and I think that's pretty cool. But on the other hand, I don't think you really notice all that much. On casual observation, you may not even notice that you've got these troopers that have a slightly different color scheme, a little bit more brown or tan to them. I think they still look perfectly good as kind of an army here. Now, what happened to these scout troopers? Well, these scout troopers, obviously you can tell they look a lot different. I wanted to try something different with some of these because I've been painting white and black and white and black and white and black. And so I decided that, well, you know what? I'll use the scout troopers as an opportunity to try some type of really grungy look then. And so I used the strong tone from Army Painter and I put that on here. And that's what turned their armor this brown color. And I really like it. Maybe it was the pure white armor and they have just been operating in like a swamp environment for so long that their armor has just completely gotten completely icky and, and grungy right here. Or maybe they are in some type of swamp camouflage or something like that. I also went in on these guys and put some green military shader from Army Painter, some splotches on them, and that kind of gave them perhaps a bit of a camouflage look. They've got the tan and then the uh, the military shader green on them, or maybe that's more stuff from the swamp that's gotten stuck on them. I think it's a really cool look. I wasn't so much concerned about these guys being bright and shiny because I don't really see them operating on the Death Star or on Star Destroyers. I mean, I guess they get on them from time to time, but when I think about the Scout Troopers, I think of them like in a harsh environment on indoor or something like that where they could potentially get rather dirty and so I kind of think of these scout troopers as kind of an elite force so either they're in like their swamp camouflage or they have just been really out in the thick of it doing their scout duties and have gotten really dirty so I thought that was a fun way to add some kind of variety in here to my stormtrooper army without going completely off the rails here if I ever tried to paint stormtroopers again I wouldn't try to do this many and I still would try to get a really clean shiny look but I don't really anticipate doing that. The purpose of this project was to get this rather large army here of stormtroopers tabletop ready so I can play some Star Wars Legion with my nephews, and I think I definitely accomplished that. Took longer than I thought. Challenge failed. But after basically a long weekend of working in the evenings, I did get all of these painted up, and they are ready to go. And I'm proud of them. I've wanted some stormtroopers for a long time, and obviously that's why I got them. So these guys are painted. And hey, if you're like me and you've got a lot of miniatures around your house that need to be painted, please like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. It'll be greatly appreciated. And also, please check out The Cultists, the web series on this channel about modern-day D&D playing Lovecraftian cultists who just want to worship Cthulhu in a world full of people who just don't understand. Season 1 is on the channel now. But also, please check out my YouTube channel. I have over 200 videos on tabletop gaming and the sci-fi and fantasy genres. If you enjoyed this video, you'll likely enjoy many of them as well.